Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Code Whisperers to help you write your code. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to open up your web browser and go to the AWS Code Whisperers site, and you're going to want to click on Use Code Whisperer for free. And we're going to click on the link that matches our IDE. So I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. You're going to click on Install. Then you're going to click on Install. It's worth noting that AWS actually uses the AWS servers to do the actual machine learning and computing. None of it's actually done on your device. So you will need an Amazon account to set this up. Now you're going to want to make a builder ID and you want to click on the authenticate to connect button under code whisperer and you're going to want to click on the button that says proceed to browser. You're going to click on open then you're going to want to click on confirm and continue and then you're going to have to create a new AWS builder ID. So this is different from an AWS online account because an AWS account you're going to have to pay for to use the services, but an AWS Builder ID is completely free to set up and you don't even need to enter your credit card. So you just have to enter your email address and you need to enter a name and you can enter the code you got for your email in here and you're going to click on verify and now you can make a password to use for your account. And now that you're logged in, you can click on the allow button and now you can use it. So now you can go back into Visual Studio Code now you can create a new file and you can start writing some code. And once you get to a point where Code Whisperer can probably predict what you're going to type, you can see that it'll show in gray text here. And if you want to use it, you can just press tab. And if you don't, you can just keep typing like normal. Over time, Code Whisperer will actually learn from your code and give you more accurate suggestions. It will also train itself so that it can give other people more accurate suggestions as well. It's also worth noting that, at least in Visual Studio Code, you will have to re-authenticate with your AWS ID every couple days or so. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye!